And the last but not least basic of photography is your light meter, like I mentioned. Mm, this one's going to be a little bit tough for me to show you guys because I don't really have anything as simple. But I could uh, try doing a little demonstration here that I've set up. So, like I mentioned earlier, the light meter picks up the light that comes around. So, I'm going to uh, measure the light on this uh, object that I've set up over here. So light right here is just perfect. We're using natural light coming in from the window to light up uh, my room here. So if we take the light meter and we just use it in this specific area, it's going to take out all the information from this whole area here and uh, send that back to the body. So let's see what happens when we have something like I mentioned. Uh, we'll that you have a brighter background and but your subjects not lit up so let's go ahead and go over here so as you can see the guitar so the camera here automatically as you as you can see you saw what it did it started uh... It just dimmed everything so it wouldn't be full blown overexposed but what happens is this is what the light meter picks up all the light around the object here so if you're following the light meter from what it says don't just get the silhouette of a of a uh, guitar so and since you're shooting film you're not going to be able to see that until after you develop your film and realize oh you know like this is all i got but if you actually want to <clears throat> go in and photograph the guitar itself you'll end up with something else is a uh, overexposed background but uh, I'm just trying to give you guys a better understanding of how to read and how to use the light meter on your camera body so let's go ahead and uh, grab the D60 and let's see what we get here so right here we're, the D60 is asking for uh, much faster so I'm at a I'm at a f stop of 1.8. I'm gonna try to get this down to uh, the basic 125 shutter speed by uh, adjusting the f stop. All right, f stop will be at nine. So right now it's asking for I have it on manual and it's right at f stop nine. And as I predicted, the, you can only see the silhouette, but it has a perfect exposure of the outside. So let's see what happens. I might even have to use a tripod to, to get the guitar because it's going to ask for slower speed. So this is what you want to do. You want to get up in the subject, in this case being the guitar. And we're going to pick up the, the light, the meter, we're going to meter the light coming off the guitar and not from the background. So what we want to do is get up close, since I don't have a zoom lens, this is a fixed lens. We're going to get up close and see what kind of light we're receiving from the guitar. Alright, so on that one, once we got up and close with the uh, with the subject, with, with the object, they asked for a, a whole lot more light because my, my the iOS that I'm using is at 400, which is not really good at all for, for indoor uh, lighting, for low light conditions. But I do have a 1.8 lens, which helps out quite a bit. And I was able to get 
like I predicted also of uh, overexposed background but this time you can see the guitar so you can use this as in a different effect I'll post up the images with the uh, pictures so that's a better understanding and that's a better way to use your light meter uh, guaranteed so I uh, hope this helps oh and that's the, the three basics of uh, photography uh, camera body settings lens and light meter light meter is the biggest one especially for film uh, cameras because you can't see what you shot and what you can adjust so just knowing how to use the light meter makes film uh, using film so much more uh, pleasant and uh, you'll be happy with it also you don't want to develop a, a, a 36 roll of film and find out that they're all overexposed or underexposed and that's a pretty terrible feeling I know from experience <laughs> so uh, yeah help the help that I hope this helped out sorry and uh, if you have any questions just go ahead and comment below alright thanks for watching have a nice day